This is code.org and we're shifting a 2D array. Now, as always guys, choose the one that you find the most interesting. The concept is gonna be the same or very similar. For instance, shift the food trucks, shift homework, even the ones with the theater, shift the colors, right? It's gonna cover the same content, the same concept. I'll just do A. All right, the owner of the Project Mercury Pasties Pastries food truck business assigns food trucks for each day of the week in several cities. The owner stores these food trucks in a 2D array, where each row represents a unique city, each column represents the day of the week. The owner wants to shift the order of the food, the food trucks assigned for each day. So we're going to write this method. Now, keep in mind how similar this is with what we just did earlier. So I'm going to approach this shifting of this array differently than my prior two examples on this. So, and that's because I want to hit again and again and again. There are many ways to write a program correctly, to submit a correct answer. That's what's really cool about building this type of, well, algorithm. So we need to go to shift food trucks. Right now, it's just going to print our array in order. All right, so let me head over here and see what we have. We have nothing. Okay, well, I want to take the approach this time of it's going to use a bit more memory, but I want to duplicate my array. But first, let's just start by getting through the rows and columns. I'm going to be lazy. I have an example of that right here. I'm going to hit copy and droop and paste. Cool. And that's because... I know this works. I know it iterates through the rows and columns. And guess what? That's what we need to do. So this is looking good. Now, I want to make a, for my current approach, I'm going to make a copy of the row that we are on each time. Something that's tricky about this one is food trucks, notice up here, uh, is a, it's an instantiation of a class, right? It's not just like a string 2D array which is fine, you just wanna keep that in mind. So I'm gonna do bloop, um, food truck, because that's the name of this class. And then I'm just gonna call this dupe for duplicate, and it's gonna be equal to new, oop, I want this to be equal to an array, cause it's gonna be dupe or how about row dupe? Nah, I'm just gonna call it duplicate dupe row, how about that? And it's gonna be equal to new food truck. Oh, no it's not, <laughs> nope. It's going to be equal to food trucks and then our current row. So all I'm doing here is making a copy of the row that we are currently on. Now, to copy our array then or to shift the array, what I'll do is inside of our column count, um, I actually can do it here as well. Yeah, I'm going to just do, I like this because it's more readable, int call count is going to be equal to food trucks row dot length and i do row instead of zero because i like it just in case there's a jack array or something and then i'm just going to make this less than column count counting the amount of columns okay now i need an integer uh to keep track of where i'm going to copy a value where we're shifting a value so int uh copy index maybe or shift index uh copy index is what i'll call it and what i'm going to set this equal to is our current column plus the shifted amount so our current column plus shift because if we need to move all of this data over two well then if my current column is zero well i know index zero needs to be pushed over two so i'm going to add two to this and then what I'll do once I have that is all I'm going to say is, okay, food trucks, row, whatever row we're on, column. So the current row, the current column is going to be equal to our dupe row value, copy index. Okay. And so what this should allow us to do is we don't need to have variables here that are like temp value. Since I have a full copy of my array up here, up here. I can go ahead and start replacing these values live. So I don't need to worry, for example, that I have just saved over index zero, or actually no, I have just, yeah, no, that's what I did. I just saved over index zero because I still have a copy of whatever was in index zero because I have a duplicate of the row here. 
So I can just loop through and hit an error. Why will I hit an error? Because at some point, say they want to move things over two. Well, if I get to index three or index two, and I want to move this over two, well, that's beyond the end of the array. We're going to hit an issue if that's the case, and that will be the case eventually. So the way to prevent something like that is mm, I'm going to throw in an if, and I, it's just going to say if copy index is greater than column count minus one. So if we're going to go past the end of the array, we have an issue, but it's relatively easy to solve. All I would do is copy index is going to be equal to whatever copy index used to be equal to minus the column count. So let me run. Oh, whoops. Hey guys, this does not work in Java. For some reason, I was thinking of JavaScript or Python. This will not copy over an array. This is just going to reference the, the current row that we are on. Meaning if I make changes, duplicate row will also change. I need a method to copy my array. Let me throw that down here. Um, public void dupe array, uh, or copy array, or clone array. Sure. And then it needs the array, which will be a food truck. And uh, I'm just going to say ARR. And then it's just going to be a for loop. Uh, and honestly, and then I'm going to need the length of the array. So R dot length. And then I need, I'll just do a, um, a for each style loop. Oops. So throw back to this uh, food truck. I'll just say truck and then our array. And now I need to copy over each value. So new array. Mmm, just kidding. I'm going to do a regular. Now this is how I can actually create a duplicate array, not how I had attempted to sloppily uh, up here. So now this should clone the array, and I believe, let's see what we have so far. Oh, I guess, oh, I guess I'd already filled this out earlier. Cool. Okay, well then I'm just going to leave this. Let me hit run and see if what I broke. New array is not compatible. Oh, we need to return. So this is looking successful thus far. Let me throw another number at it. Let's say if I want to move over um, everything by three. So this is looking good. And again, guys, this is just one way to do this. There are many, many ways. I did two other ways in the previous tutorial. So have fun with this. These are challenging problems. Good, uh, good luck. Onward.